this is why we are a community. Things I did not realize um, somebody else might pick up on. And I uploaded a video called something about my condo or what what's going on with my condo or something like that from psychic medium Cheryl Murphy. And I uploaded it last night and one of our um, followers on this channel, the psychic skeptic, his name is James Barker, made an observation that I myself had committed or almost committed. I caught myself um, and a, one of those errors that I'm always telling everybody to be very, very careful of. Be very careful. Make sure you have a transcript or really paying good attention. Well, more than paying good attention, you really need to have audio or video. Otherwise, it's all suspect. If you think you can remember or you think you can take notes and that's going to somehow be enough to know what the medium is saying, especially a cold reader, then you are um, creating an error that is going to follow you for the entire time that you think you've just seen a medium. So if you do not have audio and you do not have video, one of those two, then question everything that you think you know, because it is not going to be necessarily accurate. In fact, the more time that passes, the less accurate your memory of what that reading was. And so here, I'm going to show you this really quick clip of what I did and, or almost did, I want to say almost did because I didn't do it, but I sure almost did. It's only 30 seconds long. Let me pull that up. And I have blurred out the man. His name is Chris. She is, let me set this up. Cheryl Murphy is a fill-in for Thomas John on a gallery reading. And she has, this man, Chris, just showed up on her feed and said, here I am. And so she starts reading him. He, she has found out he's a nurse. And let me show you what happens next. Uh, that's what I was doing, contract work, actually. But uh, my, my health is not well. And I was concerned about that as well. Okay. Um, also, uh, may I just say, is it your breathing and or your back? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, what's that? It was, it's my lungs. Which is an interesting thing she said. She says, you're having health issues with your, with your lungs or does she say lungs or does she say you're breathing, breathing or back. Okay. Do you guys see that? So what I did is I made a note on, thankfully I made notes and I wrote down breathing and back. But when I went to go tell you guys on my video channel, I said lungs. And the reason why I said lungs is because I know the answer. He's going to end up saying, yeah, it's my lungs. Okay. I know this seems like really pedantic, but what I'm trying to say is when you have the answer and you know you think you know the answer, what you're going to jot down on a piece of paper or what you're going to remember is that answer and not what the medium just said. Okay, do you see how I caught myself, thankfully? But in a lot of cases, I would not have caught myself at all because if you know, if you're just listening to this reading, remember, it's an emotional reading. You were caught up in it. She is con. She's like, you know, going to determine your, your life going further. And, you know, this, these are mediums. Okay. So she gives a bunch of financial advice. Cheryl Murphy, the medium gives a bunch of financial advice about selling a home and all that kind of thing in the video clip that I've cut out. And what, what uh, James is saying is, my nephew is a financial advisor. He spent four years studying at the university, followed by working for a large financial firm before he starts actually working in the field of handing out financial advice. I'm pretty sure if this reading was carried out in Australia, the psychic would have broken the law. If you are not licensed, you cannot provide financial advice. Okay, now about this clip that I just shared with you. 
I also noted that you fell victim only temporarily, and it happens to all of us, to confirmation bias when you said she spoke about his lungs. She said there were breathing issues that can cover heart, lungs, hay fever, sinuses, quite a range of issues. He responded it was his lungs. This is another great example of how desperate people will go and see a psychic. In some cases, pay more than they would to see a professional medico or advisor to get life-altering advice from someone totally unqualified to provide it. And James is 100% right. This woman has no business, none, not a Zippo, no way, any business giving financial advice to a complete stranger that she has known for a minute, if even that, and even less medical advice of any kind what i'm pointing out to you is that i made or almost made that mistake of saying oh she was talking to him about his lungs when she wasn't she said breathing and then he confirmed it to be lungs it's exactly the same it's exactly the same and it's amazing to me well it's not amazing to me because this is such a common error is if somebody said, if the medium says, who is James? And you say, my brother is James. And then the medium says, yes, that makes sense. He's saying he's your brother. And then remembering it later, you repeat the story back and here's what you remember. And there's nothing can convince you that this is wrong. In your brain, you have changed it to, I went to see this medium and she knew my brother's name was James. And that is not what happened at all. She said, who is James? The sitter says, it is my brother. And then you in your mind use these shortcuts and you say, she knew about my brother named James. And darn it, there's no way you're going to convince me otherwise that she didn't say, my brother's name is James. When you have audio and you have video and you can go back and look again and you can make a transcript and it's not hard to make a transcript nowadays. You can just put the video on up, uh, upload it to a YouTube account. You can make a private. And then what you do is you hit the little transcribe area. And I can show you how to do that if you're ever confused. And it will transcribe it with all the time counts on it. So you can actually look at the words and see what were said. And then think about it. These things, this is wordplay. And psychics rely on us in our brains making these shortcuts. And we come out with something completely different than what was actually said. This happens in courts of law. This happens whenever you're buying a product. This happens in commercials. This has happens all over. It's, it's just our way our brains work and the way they're trying to pull some wool over your eyes. And it is just human and we have to be wary about it. We are ripe for being scammed. We are so often having these kinds of situations in our minds or in front of us on Facebook and social, other social media in person and advertising all over, you have to really pay attention and you have to, you have to use that old adage. How likely is this, right? If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Is this woman, this unlicensed trained by Thomas John, we know better about this this person who has no experience other than giving readings to somebody she's got a nice smile i like her glasses that's about it why is she giving people advice we need to say no more y'all we really can't be doing this i want to show you really quickly james's website well it's his youtube channel he also investigates psychic mediums he has a different style than i have um, there's nothing wrong with that at all his videos are much cleverer than mine which is mainly talking to the ch uh, channel i can put them out quickly even though there is a lot going on to put these videos out but uh, you might want to check out james barker's um, channel it's called the psychic skeptic let me show you a screenshot of it so you know where you've got the right one he does uh 
videos, uh, analysis of the psychics um, videos that are, some of them are the same as mine. See, they're much, his videos are much more attractive than mine. They have much better thumbnails. And uh, why don't you give him um, a look? Okay, check him out. He's also on often on my channel, Psychics Explained, giving his advice. And as I say, you guys see stuff I don't see. I think we should be looking out for each other. And please comment, share, you know, the drill. Thanks, guys.